Is Italy creating a second currency? What is the Minibot? Minibots, or mini bills of treasuries, these are small denomination bonds which the Italian government is thinking about creating. The primary use for these, at least initially, will be to pay private companies that have done work for the Italian government. So rather than paying these private contractors with traditional euros, they'll create these mini bots and pay the money owed to these private companies with those. Also, if you're expecting a tax rebate in Italy, it's likely that you'll be given mini bots rather than traditional euros. And when it comes to time to pay in your taxes, it's likely that you'll be able to pay using mini bots as well as traditional euros. Now, is this illegal? The European Central Bank, the European Union are saying to Italy, look, this sounds suspiciously like you're setting up a second currency, a parallel currency to run alongside the euro. Obviously, the Italians are saying, look, this isn't a second currency. We're just issuing bonds. There's nothing illegal about that. But in my opinion, this is this would be a second currency, especially the fact you'll be able to pay your taxes with it. Now, look, if we look to the UK, say there was a point in the future where cryptocurrency had taken over, the entire economy was being run through cryptocurrencies. Hardly anybody was still using the pound sterling. The pound sterling would still have some value because when it comes time to paying your taxes, the, the, the British government say, look, we're not accepting cryptocurrency as a form of payment for your taxes. You have to pay us with the pound. So that means people will still have to convert their cryptocurrency back to pounds, which will still give the pound sterling some value. Now, if the Italians are saying, look, you can pay your taxes with mini bots, then that essentially, in my opinion, is giving the mini bot a legitimacy as a currency. Uh, and also, this is essentially the Italian government giving themselves the ability to print money. Because if you're inside the European Monetary Union, you, you essentially don't have the ability to print money or you know QE, quantitative easing, because only the European Central Bank can do that. But if Italy sets themselves up this sideline second currency, which basically the ECB have no control over, it's Italy essentially undermining the Central Bank of Europe and having the ability to print its own money. Now, I think the, Euro the European Union, the ECB are likely to come down very heavily if it looks like Italy actually take this as an idea they want to go forward with, because if Italy set this up, then it's basically giving the green light to other countries like Greece, like Spain, like Portugal. Hey, look, if Italy have done this, then they're going to think to themselves, well, we can do the same. If we're struggling to sell bonds on the traditional bond market, that we can just create a mini bot as well, create a, another parallel currency. And that gives us the license to print our own money, which completely under, undermines the uh, European Monetary Union project. At that point, basically, the euro as a currency it is, a, is a dead duck. Now, another reason why Italy may potentially be doing this, if Italy looks at some point in the future that it wants to leave the European Monetary Union. It, you know, it wants to get out, potentially leave the EU at the, at the, as well. It, there could be another option that happens, not, maybe not right now, but in you know, five, ten years' time. If Italy looks, hey, look, we want to just leave the EU, we want a Brexit of our own, we want to leave, it's going to be very difficult if they're still locked in, in, the, in using the euro because the ECB can make it very hard for them. You know, it's quite hard to set up a currency from scratch. But if they have this transition period where they initially run in a parallel currency, which they can just make that then the main currency of Italy, it basically gives them a stepping stone to leave in the European Monetary Union project and then also the European Union itself. So this could be, potentially be a stepping stone if, it's, if Italy chooses at some point in the future that it wishes to leave the European Union. Obviously, Italy has very, very high debts. It's, it's almost certain at some point in the future, Italy is going to go bankrupt itself. I can't see that there's any way that the Italian government has any way of paying down these debts in the future, especially if interest rates rise or the bond market just lose faith in the in Italy's ability to pay back its debts. I think that's almost certain. So this isn't probably something that's going to happen in the next, you know, 12, 24 months, but you know, on a time frame of five, 10 years, this is probably something that could be very likely to happen. The other option is that Italy really is the wild man of Europe. So this could also be a giant bluff. Now if Italy's saying to its people, look, we can set these mini bots up and it's going to allow, you know, the economy to carry on functioning. It's going to allow us to keep paying our debts, especially to private companies. Everything will go on ticking as normal if we set these mini bots up. If the European Union, the ECB, and especially France and Germany, which are two big powerhouses in the European Union, say to Italy, hey, look, we're not going to let you set the mini bot up. 
And then when the it Italian economy crashes, if Italy goes into recession, the Italian government are likely just going to point the finger at France and Germany and say, hey, look, those are the bad guys. We could have saved the economy if we had set the mini bot up, but they told us no, they didn't allow us to do it. So it's the Italian politicians, I think they must be sitting there behind closed doors, looking at the finances, looking at the graphs and saying, look, we're in serious trouble. We're likely going to go bankrupt at some point. So if we can create this boogeyman, if we can pose the idea of a mini bot, which France and Germany, the EU, ECB, almost 100% going to oppose. If we if we pose this idea and they don't allow us to do it, th then we can essentially go back to our people and say, hey, look, the mini bot would have saved us, but the Germans, the French didn't allow us to do it. They've essentially created a get out. They, then they can just point the finger at France and Germany and point the finger at them saying, hey, look, they're the bad guys. They're the ones that crashed the economy. We wanted to set the mini bot up, but they didn't allow us. Then that's going to direct political anger in Italy towards the French, towards the Germans and away from the Italian politicians themselves. So this could also be fourth dimensional chess. This could be an idea that the Italians have no intention of actually doing, but they just want to create the idea that it's a potential idea to the Italian people. And when the French, when the Germans say, hey, look, there's no way you can do that because you're just undermining the monetary union itself, then they just say, hey, look, that's the boogeyman over there. Don't blame the Ita Italian politicians, blame the Germans over there because they're the one that have created this huge recession. So really, this is the world of four dimensional chess. Maybe the Italian politicians know this isn't going to be something that happens. Maybe they maybe they succeed in creating a mini bot. Maybe this will be a stepping stone to the Italians leaving the euro and potentially the EU itself. So it's really interesting times. It's really one to keep an eye on. Very interesting times in European politics. Italy has quite a fascinating government, the League and Five Star Coalition. They are real radicals. They are really the wild men of Europe. Who really knows what they're thinking behind closed doors? But I think within the central bank within italy most people know that uh, italy is essentially bankrupt there's not really much it can do at this point but this mini bot even if it's successful in the short term and he really kicks the italian debt bomb down the road for another one two years and then once people start losing faith in the mini bot then again it's all going to come crashing down so let me know your thoughts on this one will we see the mini bot will it be paving the way for a euro a eurozone exit potentially even an exit from the eu itself let me know your thoughts. Really interesting to hear them. It's Jason from Liberty Bunker signing off and I'll see you in the next video.